Okay, the other thing I want to really talk about for module two is positioning your proposal for success really want you to understand the gate review process. We'll talk about it a couple different times in the training program. I really want you to understand that the gate review process at companies runs the gamut from really well-defined, it's that the gates are defined, who needs to be at the gates are defined, their roles are defined, the pre-read timings are defined what is included in a pre-read is defined so that when the executives come together for this hour, 90-minute discussion to move certain bidders through the process, they are on it. And then they can also just be chaotic, hectic, helter-skelter with people not reading the pre-read or not even asking for pre-read, not understanding what's going on and having to go back and rebrief them and questions coming out of left field that's Definitely, I've been there where procurement said like, why didn't you tell us this months ago? We would have been able to do something about it. So I just really want you to be aware of just how important the gate review process is, but also how uncontrollable the gate review process is, even sometimes for the procurement professional. So positioning your proposal for the gate review process really does come down to ticking all the boxes in the RFX documents. Don't just rely on what the list might be on the information page of the cover letter to the RFX opportunity. Go through it, create your own list, checklist, check it twice and make sure everything's addressed, all the issues, sub-issues, even if it's just a sentence or two.